In any case, we're beginning chapter five today. Some flowers never bend towards the sun. I feel like not saying anything before this, you have missed something. Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. I even think we did this dialogue too. Are you too. all right? How did you get back? I walked. You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? I saw a monster. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, they hug. I was like, what's gonna... Oh, there you go. So there's chap there's seven chapters in this game and we're just starting chapter five today this is where we sh or I thought we saved before uh, maybe there's a limit to the number of saves no it's there now no whatever anyways if you missed the first playthrough of this uh part one is on YouTube uh it's a it's um you're gonna be kind of lost if you haven't seen that it's a creepy game it's not so like j jump scary but it has its moments and it's very uh, very dark and kind of more disturbing than anything um, oh no we're, we're already caught up Ethan Sito yeah 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 there you go. all right um so I guess what do I want to do take a bath use the toilet probably got to pee Hello, Freaky Friday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't ask questions like that, Micro Frog. That's just... You're not... That's... You should be sure to ask questions in a way that they're not giving away something that happens. Curtain. Take a shower? I feel like taking a nice, nice relaxing bath. Sounds good. But no, I haven't gotten to that part, Microfrog. Boobs! I didn't know there was boobs. Miss Ashworth, I need to ask you something. Can I come in? I'm in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. Well, it's giving something away, Microfrog. Oh. <laughs> you can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. You can come in. If you promise you're not a lesbian. A lesbian? I told you I had a boyfriend, Miss A. Both girls shouldn't get embarrassed of each other. Where do you get ideas like that? I don't know. It seems everyone is gay these days. Now, that's okay with me. Don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily want a lesbian to stare at my boobs, if you know what I mean. Miss A, if I want to stare at some boobs, I'll take my top off and look in the mirror. Right. I'd do it. Come in then. I'm cooking up some pancakes. Nice boobs. Like on yours. <laughs> We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup. You could have asked this from outside the door. I. Um. Oh. Nice. I like pancakes. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh no, you'll have two of each. I made so many that would be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. But really? Why? I can smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. Then. I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. The king of pancakes? Awesome. I'll wash up, if you like. I can do that. I like washing up. You do? Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. Looks like we got the rain back. I almost felt like something was missing. They must live in Seattle. Do you think it will ever stop? I mean... What if it doesn't? Then it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. 
Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you'd feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. You could! No, you wouldn't with this attitude. Just add them on you, Facebook. on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them? How is that even possible? <laughs> well, what can I say? I'm very likable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, they come every time... They're they sharing their life experiences. Yeah, I don't really... Sexual tension. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. You saddo. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's called All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. Mm. This is a wrong one. He didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. So we've killed, I think we've killed three people total. And we've been sent by death. Whoever. To kill five? If I'm not mistaken. Five people? Ah! I just saw her there. I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn Ooh. how to use it. I hope I get to play a Facebook minigame. What am I gonna do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them. Talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues tick, 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 tick. <laughs> Monster tech. Nope. School? Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. <laughs> no, oh, friend yeah. Tom. That'll be a start. On MySpace. Uh, okay, you can friend... What's her name, also? Who'd you kill? The crazy advisor in the I beginning and the party. crazy couple? I think I wasn't sure if the couple counted for two. Moment. Two people, right? I'm having a bad day. Do with some company. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does count as one, but... Sure. Coffee sounds great. Oh, coffee. Cool. Can I go in here? Oh, this is Mitzi's room now. I shouldn't go in uninvited. Okay. What if I turn the lights off? Whoa! Let's have it rain during our entire conversation. There is a lot of dialogue What's in this wrong, game. Mitzi? It's uh I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it no, the last few days and I just don't heavy. seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along. Looting myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. King of lesbian pancakes. Maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night I made this well map. I made a map. This is our building. All four floors. There are two flats on nice. each floor. Nice! You really want to help me? That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. He's trying to find but the uber internet troll, yeah? Yet, have we? No. But I feel that together we stand a chance. So? Talk about it. What do we know already? Um, a rude ball guy lives in flat six. Is do I know that? I don't. I wouldn't. I didn't remember the number exactly, but I guess if that's an option, I guess I can tell I her much of this stuff. Rude ball guy lives in flat six. Cross it off. I told you about him. I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Hart. Hi, Ara Thorn. What else do you know about There we go. Not much. Oh, his name's Brian. I remember some woman lived there with me. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? 
Uh, shit. Mm, I think we decided no. That Jack? Never. Fine, I'll trust you on that. I guess we can count him out. Um. No. There's an old married couple. Uh, oh, ah, it's not old. Yeah? What do you know about that? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice. Quiet type. But I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? Uh. I gather they must have some serious relationship problems. It's solid with the dialogue, though, Rido. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbors. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And why? The dialogue could be a little bit louder than the music, but I can't remember. at least there's subtitles. Anyway, she's very polite. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking oh. skeleton. I bet she right, yeah, this a is... leaf of lettuce a day, or nothing at all. She looks or quite ill, actually. That area. They used to have a cat, Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Hmm. Uh, if you haven't seen this game before... I'll try and sum it up real quick. There, I, the first part of my playthrough is on YouTube. Um, it's a very dark game dealing with depression and suicide and all sorts of bad thoughts, but then also like murder and torture and disturbing things. Essentially, the, the main character has committed suicide as a way out, and after doing so, she meets Death, who tells her that she needs to go back and teach five people on earth a lesson and she's immortal so she can't die until these other five people die and she's just, just like i just want to not live anymore so you come back to earth or whatever and then you we've murdered three people so far there's very kind of disturbing scenarios but there's a lot of dialogue, but the gameplay, I really like some of the gameplay sections. They're like very like Quentin Tarantino kind of style, like kind of light-hearted, but about like murder and gruesomeness, so it's weird. Kind of weird. Um, we're trying to figure out now for this girl that we met, this ultimate internet troll guy who trolls suicide forums and Tells people to commit suicide. And I think that's one of the people that we need to kill of the five. Of the five people. Anyways. I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Hmm. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. We can cross off our flats, of course. Yep, good. That leaves us with only seven flats. What's the five people also, problem? There's an old man in flat park, well, right opposite the Brian's place. Old man. So the first guy that we killed was a doctor who would secretly take corpses into the hospital basement and like preserve them in such a way that they resembled paintings, like famous paintings. And he would use actual corpses. So he'd actually murder people. And he actually kills us, but we're immortal, remember? So he kills us, puts us in a body bag, takes us downstairs. But then we wake up because we're immortal. And then we fashion a weapon and wreck him while he's like torturing some other girl. The other one was a pest control guy and lady who were, uh, who eat people. Oh no, they eat cat, they eat cats they pick up. And they also eat people. So we killed them. Yes, corpse. There corpse are painting. strange noises coming from flat seven. Strange noises. Interesting. What kind of noises? Like screaming, explosions. Probably action guns. movies. Then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. I think I might know what's going on there, but it's worth checking anyway. You know okay. the person who lives in that flat? 
of no, God Davis War. I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. Noise. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors gossips. Anybody able to hop on the WoW Guild to give Shamukan an invite? Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. First floor? Where you said one of the flats was empty? Yes. Which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. In this game you kill screw to people. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. So now we know that the um the troll sure. guy, they call him I Eye of Adam. When I do, lives in this flat in this uh apartment building. She always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. <laughs> she hates dogs. Okay, so so yeah, we were just going through each one of the flats in this apartment building and describing what we know so that we can potentially try to figure out which guy is the internet troll dude. Okay, I think that's all that we know at the moment. That sounds very interesting, Biscuitatus. I would certainly be interested in trying that. A pram! This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. What does 245 have to do with it? Oh, are you talking about the number that was on the bottom right or whatever? Oh, I'll definitely play Bloodborne DLC when it comes out, Blood Wolf. For sure. Um. Why do you want to know? I'm just curious. I like meeting new people and getting to know them. I can tell there's some dark secret you've been keeping to yourself for a long time. The recording quality in this so is not the best. Share it with someone. Uh, so, uh, also the main character used to have a husband. We know that much. And they're alluding that there's some, there were at least one kid as well. Hi, McWizardry. How's it going? Friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... That's salt. Even for me? At least you're immortal. Whoa! Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. Oh. Wait. You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. I'll rub my face on it later. Well, somebody's at the door! Who is it? Flowers! She hates flowers, by the way. Flowers? What... What's that in your other hand? Go away. Leave me alone. The hammer. Uh... Uh, oh shit. Do I have to do something on the way? Oh shit, I can't move actually. Uh, 
Okay. So, the, t the usual way that... Since you're immortal, usually you start... Like... The process of killing the next person by getting killed yourself or something, or getting knocked out at least, because... I don't know, so maybe, maybe this is how we're getting into the next place. Marcy! Thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the wolf pack. Yeah, so now I'm in a random place, so... Can I take this ore? Wait, I'm on a ship? Or it was. First step to revenge murder is to die. Wait, what? This is back in my apartment. That's a lot of skulls. This room, why did it have to be this room? Locked. Okay. Well. What? I missed it. What was scary? Oh, oh, there's a wall. I didn't realize that. Uh, it's not really my apartment. I hope it isn't. I think I'm strong enough to break through this wall. Is that another wall? Uh... Well, time to look at the mirror. Wait, what was this? An old torn up piece of cloth is resting on my coffee table. And... Strange, the back of the mirror seems loose. Could there be a secret compartment behind it? My fingers are too thick. I need something sharp to lodge it. So move this rag. What's that? There's a knife underneath. Good. The nine inch sails. Stab! Can I use it? A key and... What is that? A lever? Use the lever. Oh, it's... Oh, it's that mace from before! Uh, oh. But I can't... Maybe we use a mace to... Okay. <laughs> the mace returns. Use this to break this down, too, too, because there's a door on this side. Such decoration. Perfect for Halloween. Oh, shit. Okay, so. This was, like, in the afterlife. And I have to kill somebody else now. We've already killed two people. When we blow out this candle... It takes a life, and I think it sends us back to Earth, is what happens. But I didn't explore the whole area. Oh, well. Guess we gotta kill Middle Dude. Last time we just... How did that even happen? Hello? Oh, well, alright. That one wasn't as dramatic. Oh, we're still here, though. Uh, that might have... I don't know, maybe it's that process that brings me back to life, because... I don't know why I would have just died, though. But now I can be here. Save. <laughs> what is that shit? Monster! I think the worst thing about it is it looks a bit like me. Uh. You... 
stay there. How about that? Hi, Chris Blue. Him and Padlock. Okay, I don't have a I don't have a code for this. Enter. So let's go this way. Junk. Ship. Hard to tell from the distance, but it looks completely abandoned. Boat. Probably just fall apart if I got in, so old and rotten. Can't understand most of it, it's all technical stuff. Wait, what's this? Minimum passenger handling capacity, two. Sorry. Elevator, would it take me under the surface of the sea? Doesn't look very safe, but it might be the only way out of here. Bioshock! Bioshock hype. Hey, come on, don't backseat, guys. I don't remember a number, so... Must be activated somewhere else. Maybe that building at the bottom of the pier. Oh, that's a three right there. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Bioshock. Am I just standing back there? There's a small hole on the side of the panel. I guess I need some kind of lever to operate it. Oh, I need to actually get... Yeah. Okay, same. Machinery. Oops. <clears throat> I've seen this machine before when I visited this wicked world of the dead. Back then, it was my blood that turned it on. Different than the others. Operate. Sure, why not? Let's find out. Take the lever. Uh, alright. Let's put the lever in the first panel. Oh, I know. Operate. Okay, this is kind of what I figured-ish. Do this one at a time, maybe? I'm moving my character, forcing her to move over, so that she can put her arm in it and <laughs> fucking activate it? I don't know. Oh no! Hold on. Alright, we gotta figure out. Oops. What's. I'll use it again. How about that? Let's see what happens. Whoa, Dark Angel 960! Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. Good to have you here. Let's operate it again. No? Okay. Fine. Oh, well, what if we put it back again now? And then activate it. Nothing happens? Oh, that happened. Okay. So if I did the second one again, she just moves away. So what if I do this one? Oops. Well, I guess that's to be expected. <laughs> um, I'm curious to see, because this is a very similar room to where the monster was. So what if we move me, and then we go see where the monster is.
Okay, it's still there. Oh, what the hell? Moved back. Okay. Get her to move. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. Well, evidently that needs to stay there. Can we use this? Oh, 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 and then we can uh, just alternate. Alternate! Oh, sorry. Don't smash her. Okay. And then... Now you need to put your arm in there. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. Am I gonna die? Sorry? Monster? Look, in the background it's it's uh it's drugged up me. Drugged up me. Was there anything else that I can interact with in here? Hello? No, I can't take any of this back. What's over here now? <clears throat> Nothing I can interact with. There's a door. It's locked again, so... Alright. And that just took us to hell anyways. Fat, fat, fat. Just talk to it. I tried talking to it. <clears throat> okay. We did our thing there. Wait, uh... Well, the boat's moving now. Not, not that ship. Look at this boat. I don't remember it. Oh, maybe we turned the power on. I'm hearing a lot more waves than before. Looks like the power's on now. But it's still not working. There must be something else I'm missing. What? Examine it. I look very safe, but it might be the only way out of here. Oh, minimum passenger handling capacity two. Right. Oh, do we have to take the monster? We already use these numbers here. Is there somebody else in this boat? We have to take the monster. I don't want to take the monster. Maybe I just take myself. This is all the same. Seemingly. Let's go see. Do I like make myself face the monster for a while? Or stab? What? Oh man, I totally thought that was it. What? Maybe she doesn't have anything yet. We did it! Oh! Uh... Yay! 
my fucking drugged up self is now in this world. Cool. Come on, druggy. I killed Fapper. Down to Bioshock, or uh... Goodbye, other world. Hi. Can I talk to you? No. Oh, there's a corpse. my back, Mitzi. Miss Ashworth, I thought... I thought you were dead. I saw that man hit you right in the head. Me? Dead? No. No, I'm a tough old girl. You can't kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid or questions. Or at all. We have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? Yeah, okay. I can do that. What's this? Duct tape? Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard? It won't hurt to try. Let me chew it off of you. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons. Stuck in a web. Waiting to be eaten. Oh, where's the spider? He's gonna play with Charlie us, Carlo! Thank you for subscribing, Charlie. Pull yourself together and stop talking shit. I can't think properly. Welcome to the wolf pack. Um, lock picks that you always carry with How you. How about those lock picks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? Yeah. Wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick gonna help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. Yeah, so let's fair get enough. the lockpicks and think of something else, alright? Um let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape. Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah. But I'm sorry. I just remembered <laughs> I can't reach it. Hello, Kaoshin. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Oh, well, congrats, you Charlie. You a nasty piece of work, Miss A. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Really? Yes, but clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. Oh, well, I didn't not mean to. Little pieces packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. He might just throw our bodies in the river or bury okay. them in the woods. Okay, let's just. Maybe there won't be any. Start trying to. Always an optimist. Get. So try and get out of here uh, instead any of any ideas? Not that many really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. And you? What do you think we should do? Promise. We should kill the fucker. With what? We're tied up. 
Bite him I'm to death. To headbutt him to death. Or headbutt him. I will, if there's no other way. Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna Breathe die fire here. on him. Not like this. Or acid. Uh, maybe together we can pull this pipe maybe off. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall. How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull them. <laughs> Hold to pull the pipe. Uh, now we're gonna drown. <laughs> what? Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. Hello, Ericos. Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. I've got a bit of a headache, but I think I'm all right. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. But I'll feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. Do you think he's going to... rape us? No, he is not. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Let's just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later, they always make a mistake. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. And I'm sorry about the mug, too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. I used to like flowers, you know, like everyone else, or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Hello, Zekar. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. We're learning more. A taxi driver. Worked every weekend. And I was still on maternity leave. Abby. Zoe, our little daughter, was only six months old at the time. They're covered in duct tape, Charlie. Five months and 28 days exactly. She would be 11 now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away. But I really liked them, somehow. They were extraordinary. Absolutely stunning. And looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear. As if I'd woken up from a strange dream. And this I is in-game phone. Calling. I don't have a phone like that. I mean, you could put it on your digital phone, sure, but... It's, it's not in my house. Oh, here we are. Well. These flowers I ever got. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I know one day you will say yes. I'm gonna keep them. I should definitely throw this note away just in case Eric finds it. Okay, I'm answering the phone, sorry. Do you like the flowers? They're very pretty. I knew you'd like them. Lilies, they're beautiful, but not nearly as no, uh, I have a stalker. I have a family now. I'm sorry, but I can't see you again. We've managed to patch things up with Eric. And there's Zoe. We have to try and make it work. Our daughter needs both her parents. So, yeah. I can't just run away with you. Life's not a film with Julia Roberts, you know? But sometimes doing crazy things can change your life for better. Really want to be that woman who in ten years' time realizes that she's wasted the best time of her life living with a man that she never loved. I look, I love my husband. I can take care of Zoe. I 
told you before. I'll be a good father to her, if you want. It doesn't work like that. You don't know anything about children. I'll learn. Give up? Honestly. I could never give up on you, Susan. Um. Don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. Um. Oh, it's gonna go down. Up. Just shut up, all right? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, Susan. I got carried away. Please, just think about it. I have time. I'll wait. I mean, listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah. When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? No. no. I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. I <laughs> guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Hide. Take. Um... gonna find out hide them in the piano well it must be what guilt smells like there must be a better place for them oh. flush them down the toilet coffee table no that's too obvious Throw them out the window! Or not. Really? It's on the shelf? Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. I doubt he'll notice anyway. Why wouldn't you just get rid of them? I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Eric must have come home early. But why? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What? what happened? Uh... Eric, just tell me what's wrong, okay? It was uh, those bloody terrorists again, here on our doorstep. Would you believe that? So... Was this 9-11? bomb? Yes. In a restaurant. Oh no, never mind. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Oh, never mind. UK. Sorry. This is in America. Um. Of course I care. I had no idea. You should pay more attention to what's happening to this country, Susan. I could have died, and you wouldn't even know. Did you get hurt? No, not really. But the cap smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. E so I stop. And all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. His voice? I hear my passenger screaming and shouting and there's blood on the rear window. His voice and, and his appearance. car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on. Kind of reminds me of South Park this characters. Just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. What Garage! Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. 
I did. Four times. Oops. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get, Get some, some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. How about I get some glasses, please? I'll I'll get the glasses. All right, I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No, I just need a drink. I can wash later. No. Alcohol, bad idea. The glasses. Her dress is so red. Shit. I'm not Are answering. You get that? No. If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't oh, want to talk to them. Okay, anymore. I can get it then. That's fine. Hello? Yeah, this guy's a huge dick. It's me again. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. I love you, Susan. Susan? You still there? Please, say something. Anything. Nah. Uh. I'm... I'm sorry, but he's not home. I... Excuse me? He's at work, isn't he? He's not home yet, Jerry. Why don't you try again in the morning? He won't be back till late, right? Is that Jerry? I'm not here, just blow him off. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? <laughs> Alright. Take care then. You idiot! Oh. Then the arguing started. It slowly grew into something bigger, something horrible. Walked through the Stupid power cord. remarks and old grudges mixed with cord. alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to That's still a little a baby. Better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Uh. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Look, I understand you've had a very bad I day. But it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? Me too, no, kind of wolf knight. Flat to see it's all true. I'm done talking to you. I'm done talking to you. Of course you are. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments. Oh, lazy me, Susan. Lock yourself in the bathroom. I get it. Fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Not to a single word I've ever said! Right. Here we go. It's not you. It's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses, and you had some too. I'm not drunk. You had some too. I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. 
That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan! <laughs> oh my god. Full of shit! <laughs> oh my god, that is exactly like a South Park character. You are full of shit! Um... Jesus. Um... This is how not to be an adult 101. Let Enjoy. Let I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. That's right. Just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. Thank you, you Unicorn in your kitchen. Anything. For the retalk. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Wrecked. Fucking wrecked. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I thought that's that farting. Farting I'm the truth. I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. It's a hottest summer. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. Fine. Never mind. The baby's totally dead. Oh, why are there... I don't want to respond like that. We just had a... I haven't done anything wrong. Whatever. Of course not. Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? Baby's That's dead. not what I said. Baby's dead. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah, then why are we here now, fighting? This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old? What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan. You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge. Stop it. Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We Start should finally it. say to each other what we really think, right? Why would the baby be dead? I don't know, but... We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Oh, the god! Oh, god damn it! Flowers. Guess who's back? Those back fucking again. flowers. Who's back? Right and there. I'm so god by damn ill. Can't even keep me company in these she trying times. Allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known. Thank you so much for the donation. How we rare to allergy to the pollen. It's rare. She started coughing and choking. I swear I changed the sound effect yesterday, but rip. Rip, Babby. Dude, I totally changed this yesterday. Sorry. Imminent loud noise. Careful. Maybe I didn't hit save settings. It's updated now. Well, baby rage. The next time. Baby we rage. Her, when we found her, she she was. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. Totally we Eric's fault, by the way. A week later, he drank himself dead in the woods. Oh. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked bad. Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. Yeah, this song's good. What do you want from us? Time to Are deal with this dead? crazy fucker. Let, see, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. Oh yeah, good job. You're Lizzie. handling it real well. Leave her alone. Don't you dare. No! Take me, instead. Take me. Mitzi top negotiator. Do I, okay, can I do stuff now? 
Nope, not yet. Oh. That's lightning. If you hurt my friend. I mean I They're already I gonna kill you. Kill him. So now I'm grabbed? Wait. What? What's going on? You're letting me go? Just like that? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Oh, better brush my teeth. Better take a bath. Better go to the bathroom. Now that would be really rude to pee in front of her. She's not in here. <laughs> I feel like taking a nice relaxing bath. I think I deserve that much. I think I'd better take a shower instead. Alright, well that's kind of glitchy and left over, but... Dead? Oh, he dead. She's dying. Uh, what's in here? Okay. You sick son of a bitch. I don't understand. He's a Wookie. Well, guess I'll play music while my friend dies. Wants her to play the Star Wars theme? Da -da -da -da. Oh, not the cats again. Wait, are the cats? Oh, the cats are arriving. They're coming to a rescue. What? Go help your friend. Oh, she's dead. What? Or... Good job, cats. Fucking pull up. Bear. Push. Just fucking, like, hold her up for a second at least. Yeah, there you go. Stand still, Missy. I'm gonna be right back in the night. And I'll cut you down. Talk to her. Hey there, how's it going? Did we? Did we save her? Yay! There. She's just like, I'm okay. This is... I... Don't look, Mitzi. Don't look. Hang in there. Okay. That was chapter five. Two more chapters left. 
uh, the Legend of Cat Window or Widow? Cat Widow? Cat. Cat Widow. Cat Widow confirmed. Helen Road. The Legend of Catwoman. Cat Window. The Legend of Cat Windows 95. Well. We're really going to do it, aren't we? Yes, Mitzi. You will finally get your closure. Okay. Maybe I will get mine too. Oh, so yeah, those. Take that map with you. Does that count as four? Yes. Is that the fourth one? That we we get lost. I've lived in this building for many years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Once we're sure it's not them, it might give us a clearer picture of how far we've got. Right. Okay. Good luck, Mrs. A. Wait, why are we splitting up? Mitzi. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident. It must have been pretty tough for you. I mean... No, I'm good. Never felt better, Mrs. A. Really? I... You have, now have Mitzi icon in your inventory. Use Mitzi's ability to pick locks and ask for advice if you get stuck. Are. So Davis lives here with his wife. I haven't seen them for a while, though. Maybe they've gone for a holiday. Shit. Shit, shit. I missed the first prompt. I think I heard something. No, it was probably just my imagination. Knock. Escort mission. Guess they're not in. That's great. I never liked them much. Well, I guess we'll pick the lock, huh? Can you unlock this door for us? Let's see. Blimey. You don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just beyond me. Why would anyone need one of these here? Must have something to hide. Is there any other way we can get inside? Or a window? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic grill. Or a key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. Or a window. Okay, I was gonna say, it might just be unlocked in the first place, but it's not. All right. Brown floor. Ah! The dog lady? There's a flat two of that stinking mongrel of hers. Can't remember her real name. I've always just called her the dog lady. Needless to say, we are not the best of friends, but we usually do our best not to show it. Well, good on you. Hello. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people. But you're a dog here. lady. You have and to. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. The evil council. Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are actually. Oh, they Sorry. usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time, actually. 
Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. Oh. And that sofa, my god. They're always oh, gathered cool. around it like it's their shrine. Mm. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? <laughs> but you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time mm. I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Mm. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, but I can't help him most of I assume you want me to ask who William is. runs off and gets lost? Obviously her dog. I'm telling you, we've never oh, it's her had child. such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's 12 years old. 12 years old? He shouldn't be running after cats. That's 84 in dog years. Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, <laughs> the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. Then he'll have to find <laughs> another one. This is just not good enough. Alright, I gotta go. I have to go now. See you later. Later. Cabinet. Heavy, I think, is meant to be a storage place for cleaning products, bases, and things. Those who have lived in this house as long as me will know there's actually a door to the basement behind it. No one goes down there anymore. It's not safe, apparently. Okay. I don't really want to be seen. If only we could get rid of this old witch somehow. Let's go fucking kill her dog. Maybe one day you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oh. Doll. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't didn't. worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But oh. please, oh. be more careful in the future, yes? You be more careful, nosy old witch. Wow. Be Mailbox, no mail for Susan. All the compartments are locked. Uh, take. Oh my goodness, really? Are we. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I thought I thought that's where we were going, but I thought that was a little too forward too. Let's go to the first boy. Figure out. We're in chapter six, Kihaku. Hello, demonic possession. How's it going? Oh, there's the sofa. Look at it. But why? Oh shit! God damn it! Let me read this again. Cats seem attracted to it, but why? Oh my god! Really? There are some stitches on it, and they look fresh. Has it been mended recently? There was another piece that... It's just an old sofa. Okay, we're going to use the glass to cut open the sofa. That's what we're going to do. Hey, look at this. Valerian root extract. Cats Valerian it. steel! It has the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely crazy for it. 
You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. Oh, what a shame they moved out. It's a uh, it's definitely an interesting game, Orifice Prime. I will have enjoyed played it when I'm done. Having played it. From Flat One, we apologize for cluttering the hall. The removal company has been called. You know, collect the sofa and the chairs soon. We're sorry for the inconvenience. We're sure you can put up with these few items for a bit longer, just like we put up with your dog for all these years. Morrison's. I don't know why we would knock, but why not? There's no one home. Open. Listen. Only silence. The clock. Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's Seven see. Hours. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Ferret lady. Do you mind? What is the plot no, so far? Sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. A little involved. Famous. If you'd like to watch the first part, it's on YouTube. Of my playthrough, anyways. Okay. Banner. Like a. Oh. Hi. Joe Davis is flat up there. What is he thinking? Digging holes in the floor. Right on the edge, there's some black, shiny object. I can't quite tell what it is. It looks like a kind of statue. Is that a cat? Or a rat, maybe. The table on the right wasn't damaged so badly I could probably stand on it. But it, as it's all rotten, I'd probably only fall and break my neck. I'll have to find another way to get that statue from there. Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Done. All right. This is A. What does depression feel like? You missed one chapter's worth, Black well, Sabbath. It feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. That's funny. That's not funny at all. Most of the time, I feel like I want to live. I have to die. All right, she's got cancer, so. Talk it! What? Uh, do I shock myself? Okay. Well, we've gotten everything we can from there right now. The old woman lives here with her ugly dog. There's a puppy. There's a puppy. Did that not make her come upstairs? Any pick lock. Bad idea. There's a dog inside. I hate dogs. Okay. Um, okay, let's go to the second floor then. I forget which flat I'm on, or which flat I'm in. Oh, this is the second floor. My place, right? And we can't go in there. Hit the table with the spanner to repair it. More or less. Hello, Love and Wolfpack. 
uh, bicycle. Kick? Since Brian doesn't own a car every day. They spelled his name twice differently. Brian and Brian with an I and a Y. Not just his pride and joy, but also his means of transportation. I bet he'd be gutted if something happened to it. Well, let's kick it. Frank? Oh, well. Spanner, obviously. Interesting. That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. Take that. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I would never get kidnapped by that crazy guy in his cannibal life. Cannibal wife. Brian's definitely in. No, I don't want to talk to him. There must be some other way I can get inside and check if he's who we're looking for. I'd like to teach him a lesson, show him I'm not... Yeah, we did that, I guess. Passive aggressive crank loosening. Well, we took it though. Borrow? What's the difference between borrow and take? All right. An old man lives here. I don't think it'll be long until he's taken into care. Right now, he still seems independent enough to do his shopping and cleaning. Sometimes I see him in the hallway. Polite guy always says hello and smiles. Something's not right, quite right about him. Early stages of dementia. Someone cough. He's home already. I was going to say, vigorous fapping sounds. <clears throat> um, knock. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Why not just Old people usually ask have him? time to answer lots of stupid questions. They just want some attention, Mitzi. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Let me get my hair again. Do you think he'll be back with a shotgun? Don't be silly. This isn't America. Ah! <laughs> uh, I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Do you own a computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds. Baccalaureus! And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? Thank you for nine months of no, subhype. No, with all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, wait. Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, no! It's pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. He's a... Unless he's not alone. You should ask him about that before we go. He's hiding something. Can I help you? No, thanks. We're fine. Have you found some batteries? What? I don't want to buy this in. I told you before, I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. He's taking me for a ride. 
You live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year, but I can still cook my dinner and I make my bed every morning all by myself. So, you do live alone then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. Hello, Aaron Hawk. I can still cook my dinner. Oh my goodness. And I make my bed every morning all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. That's right. We're just here to ask about. I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. Cooks his bed every morning. I can still cook my bed and <laughs> make my dinner every morning, all by myself. Oh, fuck. I... I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology. No, no, no. It's, it's me who should be sorry. I haven't even offered you ladies a cup of tea. That's fine. I no want some tea? About it. Mary always liked her tea milk. Oh, Mary. She put the tea bag in the milk in first, and, and then finally she'd add hot water. God damn I it. I kept telling her it's the wrong way, but she never listened. She was always so stubborn, my Mary. My memory? Every day. I'm sorry for your loss. All right. Oh. Yes. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. You're drinking tea right okay, now? now. I'll see you later, lady. Okay. Well. Uh. Next time I'll do the talking. Yeah. He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. That's why she had to die. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep. He's just a lonely old man. Are we crossing it off? Let's cross okay. it off the list. Okay. All right. Sounds good. There's Brian. All right, upstairs there's a noise and a babby. Let's go check it out. Fourth floor. Oh, cable. Cables are hanging loose. I don't think that's very safe. If I can pull them out, I'd cut off the electric for both flats. Unfortunately, they are too firmly attached to the meter. Electric meter for both flats. Off. Well, I assume Cram. Uh oh. It's just a trip to use, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch and we're back on. Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Probably doing fucking WoW raids. What a nerd. Well, okay. We will, uh, evidently we need to, like, permanently disassemble that cable for him. Cable for him to do, uh, thing. This is where Pauline lives. She's a young mother and, until recently, a busy hotelier. Hotelier. There's a cougar in this room. That's a babby. What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies. Erin, you know? thank you for the resub! Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. You don't have to... If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. Why would you need that? You have can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. Why not? Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. All right. All right. So we need to figure out how to. What was this thing? Pull. If I if I could pull them out, I'd cut off the electricity for both flats. Unfortunately, they're both. 
They are too firmly attached to the meter. So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman yeah, and her yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go pour the catnip shit on her. Or on rag. Okay, I think we're getting closer. Well. Well, isn't that what we want to do? Don't we want cats to come? Kidnap the lady. Uh, we want to get rid of... Can we walk outside? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, we need to get rid of the dog, too? Yeah, chloroform, but with catnip liquid. Here, there you go. Put it on the radiator. All right. Come on, guys. The body moved over here. Where are they? This is A. They teleported. Well, aren't they quick? This dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Kappa. Definitely. She should put that firm down for a minute and sort her dog out. Kappa, Kappa. Uh, shut up. Shut your shit, dog. Woof. Liquid. Hey. Oh, your music. dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cats upset him again. Poor William. I'd better check on him. I mean, she's just sweeping the floor down here. Why? How long does that take? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you sure the cat'll be all right? Please. These cats can easily outrun some old mutt. Some old mutt. Yeah, he is 74, so now let's push this. I'm going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind it. Punch her in the tip. It's too heavy. I don't think that's going to work. Why? <sighs> Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. Oh, shit. Stand back. Damn! What a beast! There. The door everyone's forgotten about. What's... Wow. You're stronger than There's you like a... this is a... Oh, is that the broom? Yeah. Perhaps I am. Broom, take that. Nice. Nice. Basement door. What is here? Pipes. Water supply for the whole building can be switched off here. There's no need to do that now, though. Extension cord. Is there enough broom in my pocket? Mm. Uh, ACOG is level 90, I believe. At least. Coal shoot has been used for many years. All flats have central heating these days. Can't be opened by hand. I'll need a crank. Oh. 
filled with cold, dirty stuff. Well, we're going to start a fire there, aren't we? And there's paint. It's red. The color of blood. The lid is stuck. Dried up paint is holding it firmly like a glue. I need some tool to prize it open. I'll take the thing once I manage to open it. It's of no really. Can't you just pick lock ticket? Quiet Haven Hotel. Never heard of it. What is this sign doing down here anyway? Sewing dummy. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from flat six, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. What? You ever heard the legend of the cat widow? The cat widow? No, I can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Do you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Okay. This is... So what do we need? Well... Not a good idea. Basically, we need three things. Done. Red paint. There's a tin here. We could use that. Oh, we need to pry it open still. Black dress. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. We'll put the... Map. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. <laughs> well, take the dress and rub it in the coal, right? That's my guess. i to make it black. Black is my color. I like it so much better now. Wow, that is way like... That seems like a really good dye job for just rubbing it in... Uh, <laughs> in coal. Okay, tin of paint. Um, sign. There's a wall. This wall looks fresh. There's something behind that wall. There's a broom on it. Okay, well, there was, what was it? Something we needed to do with the power upstairs. Got a broom. Um. Look, she left the door open. Ooh, wait. Let's check it Do out. Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can. Hmm. Oh. It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay. I'm not really surprised, are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. Yeah, ACOG, I wouldn't say that raids are a good way to make money. I mean, they're okay, supplemental, but... Let's go. I just do them because they're fun, and it's nice that you can get some money out of it. It's not really efficient at all. Uh, okay, can I... Oh, maybe we can use the broom now. Get the thing down here. That you? 
Yeah, the mic that the other girl uses. Yeah. I'll try to catch that thing for you, all right? Huzzah! Nice. It's a cat statue. Wait, a mask? It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. Yeah, we need to go up to that dude. That dude's floor. Oh, shake and break. Black porcelain cat with open mouth. It wouldn't be out of place in my own flat, but I probably got enough of these already. Key! There you go. What a strange hiding place. What happened to the good old doormat? I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. No, you can actually buy gold through Blizzard, Tyrock. You can purchase a WoW token, which provides somebody else one month of subscription, and they can buy it off the auction house. You buy the token with real money, and when they buy it off the auction house, it's like 25, 30k gold, and that allows them to pay for the game without spending real money, and you to get in-game money without wasting all the time. Not wasting, but spending all the time. Second floor hype. ACOG, there's a little store button on the UI at the bottom, like where menu and all that stuff is. Just buy a token. All right, let's get in here. Do you want to go in first? Come on in. The place seems empty. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Yeah, no shit. Just step around it. Right. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't phone. like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Creepy. Just one. That damn hole. Oh, I see. Nearly forgot about it this time. He was stepping out of the hole, I see. There's another dress. 666. There's a computer! Bingo. We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our Hello, guy Mr. After Mystery. All. No, no, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Just hurry up. Yep. I'll just grab the power lead and run right back. It's just across the hall. I'll be back before you know it. I will count to a hundred. If you're not back, I'm out of here. I'll be back before you get to 75. Don't worry. Hey, I just remembered something. Let's go do it! Easy. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep your mind occupied. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I'm back. So you're a mind reader now. I'm gonna no. pick. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay. A zucchini. Whatever. Now go. No. I'm no, not a zucchini. Already. Why do I always end up in places like pick. this? Pick. Broccoli. Broccoli. Uh oh. On hype. Phone. Oh, the phone was on the uh, freaking mirrors. I tried that myself. Didn't hear me. Yet. No, I'd rather not. Um, doorknob is missing. Fixes number of the beast. Probably keeps me laid bodies of his victims. And I read once there was some other meaning. Three, six, two, something really innocent. 
can't remember now. It was a long time ago, and I've had other things on my list. Well, there's there was a oh socket. Well, we're gonna have to do this, aren't we? Maybe. Desk. Table. TV. Phone. Remember the hole, Susan. There's no point. It stopped ringing now. Well, if it was ringing at all. Oh. <clears throat> All right, so if you want to figure out how many wolf coins you've got, you need to, uh, is this? It is running, okay. You whisper Lobot Jr. Whisper him and say coins. Or you can say stats. Stats will be your coins and your XP. Or you can just do XP, and that will give you your XP. <clears throat> Ammon. Not even plugged in. Well, GG. Oh! Oh! Damn. The door handle just came off in my hand. Not How me, ACOG. And now. <laughs> Mitzi? Get out. Mitzi, are you there? Shit. Jump over Careful that. Careful now. Come on now. Jesus. That light was not moving like that before, was it? Oh. Mannequin. Okay, a mannequin in the bath. This guy's nuts, no doubt about that. Literally like everything else in this place. Oh, let me see if just by chance. Hold on one second. Yeah, so Lobot has a queuing system. So you might receive a response a few seconds later, but once you send it, you should receive it. it. He has a queuing system so he doesn't spam. Also so that if you whisper too much like in a row, like it'll block you from actually sending the whisper. So yeah, you should get uh, you should get a response eventually. Just give it a few seconds. Wait, a power lead. Oh shit. <laughs> Just jumping over my hole. Um got to get out of here. Hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Jesus. No. You were not supposed to be here. Mitzi? Why did you have to ruin everything? What have you done, you stupid? Evil bitch. Who are you? 
<laughs> what? Who are you? Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. The door was open. I thought you moved out. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to this you? This music. What? Look, sir, you are wrong. I just came here to find my cat. It's gone missing. Yeah, I see. That stupid cat. I've been looking for it too. The little bastard took off with my key. I'm gonna rip him to pieces. Um. Um. <clears throat> my friend knows that I'm here, and she will call the police. And I've got a gun. <laughs> He's singing. I can shoot you right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just leave, very slowly. I won't cause you any trouble at all. Okay? gonna fall down the hole calm down I'll go now and we'll forget all about this there's nowhere to go it's Thanks. all wrong no matter jump down what the hole I do, or push him down damn the it get back here right now and give me that blasted key please don't get angry I don't have any keys just sit down and take a deep breath while I make my way out, all right? Don't fall down the... 